Disney. The happiest place on earth. The best place to be. To let your imagination roam. And let the phantasm roll in. But what happens when this fantastical experience becomes paranormal? These are true scary stories from Disney. Haunted Mansion Ghost Boy. I took my 100 foot night shot accessory to Walt Disney World with the specific purpose of taking ride photos of the Haunted Mansion for a WW virtual visit. After documenting the ride, I put the camera away for the rest of the day. I went back to our place that evening and began to download the photos to my laptop. Lo and behold, one of the first shots of the attraction shows something that definitely was not there when I was on the ride. This photo was taken in the first hallway of the attraction, the one with the eye following portraits. As you'll see in the photo, it appears as though a child is peeking his head out of the doom buggy and looking directly at me. Not only was he not there, when I took the pic, there wasn't a child of this age within 20 people in front of me in line. And as you can see, he's only a few doom buggies in front of me. Not only that, what's he doing looking at me? There is no flash and no visible light coming from me. It's all infrared and invisible to the naked eye. Definitely one of the most spooky experiences that I have ever witnessed. Real ghosts in Disney's Haunted Mansion. Rumor has it that years ago, a woman approached Disney saying that one of her sons had been killed and that he had absolutely loved the Haunted Mansion. She wanted to spread the ashes of her son in the mansion, but Disneyland of course said no. So the woman got on the ride and at some point dumped the ashes out anyway. Whether this part is true or not, I can only guess. But that's the story. Note, CNN reports that the family of a seven-year-old boy did indeed dump his ashes on Disneyland's Haunted Mansion ride. Weird stuff started happening after that. Once, as guests were getting off the ride, they reported to the cast member, CM, at Unload that there was a little kid running around the ballroom scene. So, the CM sends security in to look, but they don't find anything. Similarly, Guests have reported seeing a little boy standing alone at the exit and crying. Some have said that when they asked him if he needed help, he acted like they weren't there. Some have even said he disappeared. Of course, by the time they tell a CM about the boy and the CM goes to check it out, he's long gone. The Game of Life Haunted Mansion Theme Park Edition it gets even creepier. This part of the story I have confirmed with a friend who worked at the mansion. I mentioned these haunted stories and he freaked out saying his had actually happened to him. He was glad to hear he wasn't going insane. Late at night, cast members will often only run on one stretch room because it gets so quiet. That means that between the groups of guests, the CM at load is all alone, just waiting for people. Well, one CM was waiting for the next group of guests when she thought she heard a child laughing. She figured the next group had arrived and kids were coming, but no one ever showed up. Then she saw something move out of the corner of her eye. She turned to look, but didn't see anyone so he put it off as her imagination. 
However, she saw it again and again and again, but no one was ever there. Well, about this time, she starts feeling a cold chill and is getting kind of freaked out. All of a sudden, she feels someone put their hand on her shoulder. Of course, no one is there. She screamed and ran out and told management that she would never go back to work in the mansion ever again. The Disappearing Disney Worker One Friday afternoon, my family and I were visiting the haunted mansion. We were waiting in line to get in the Doom Buggies. There were three cast members working the loading. There was a female behind the controls, a male cast member at the ride entrance, and a male walking on the moving walkway. I had a side view of the walking cast member. He was a young man with light brown or dark blonde hair. He was looking at a small piece of paper, a little bit bigger than a business card. They had stopped loading the ride for a few seconds because a couple of the doom buggies were occupied with visitors. During that interim, the walking cast member all of a sudden reached down, as if to pick up something, and never came back up. When I walked through the entrance, I looked down the side of the ride and did not see the cast member. When my husband and I were loaded in the doom buggy, I asked him what he thought the cast member was picking up. He said, no one was picking up anything. Then I went through my story, and he told me there wasn't another male loading guests. Then I asked my daughter and her friend, and she said that there was only the first female cast member and the male cast member. Did I see a ghost? The Man With No Eyes I was at Disney with my aunt, my second last trip, when something a little odd happened on the dinosaur ride in the Animal Kingdom. I got on, I was in the second seat from the left, and an old man sat next to me. Pretty decent old guy, nothing fancy about his clothes, had gray hair and a short beard and was wearing a ball cap, which he didn't take off. What was weird from the get-go is throughout the whole ride, he did not react to anything. Dinosaur is pretty shaky. Loud ride, and usually, you know, there's laughing and shouting and reactions to stuff. This guy hung on, but kept the same bland look on his face the entire time. He didn't react, smile, or anything. Okay, maybe just a weird old man. When we got off the ride, I went to check the ride photos they snap of you partway through, and when ours came up, it looked like the old man had no eyes. He did not have sunglasses on during the ride, or even normal glasses, and there was nothing wrong with his eyes when he got on. But in that photo, there was nothing but black all around where his eyes should have been. Also. He was looking straight ahead in the photo, not at the dinosaur camera, and again, bland expression. My aunt saw the photo too, and agreed it was way weird and way spooky. The Creepy Cowboys